Samsung's One UI is one of the most feature-rich versions of Android available, and the company adds to it every year, preloading it on all new Samsung phones like the Galaxy S24 series. If you're happy to go digging, you can find some real gems beyond the obvious. I'm Cam Bunsen from Pocketlint, and in this video I'm going to show you some of my favourites. It's worth noting that a lot of these will also work on the older Galaxy S models like the S23 and S22 if you're running Android 14 with One UI 6, so be sure to check them out on your phone. Generate an AI wallpaper. Like Pixel, the Samsung Galaxy software has a feature for generating new wallpapers based on basic commands. Head to Settings, Wallpaper and Style and then tap Change Wallpapers. You'll see an option that says Creative. Select that and then tap the Generative folder on the next screen. Now choose a style, and on the next screen you'll be able to tap the bold words to generate images based on different commands. Once you hit generate, it'll come up with four options to choose from, tap set on the one you like, or change the commands to create a new selection. Get your phone accent colours to match the wallpaper. So by default, Samsung's One UI doesn't match its icons and accents to your wallpaper colours, but you can enable that. Head to Settings, Wallpaper and Style, and then choose Colour Palette. You'll see a toggle switch next to Colour Palette. Switch it on, and choose the wallpaper colour options that you like from the generated selection. Use the Interpreter app. There's a new Interpreter app on the new Samsung phones that lets you speak to people in different languages. Swipe down your quick settings, find the Interpreter mode, and then when the app launches, choose the languages you want to speak in. The list is fairly limited for now, but there are a lot of popular languages in there. Tap the mic to start speaking and it'll automatically turn your words into text and then translate them and speak them out loud in your chosen language. AI powered notes. Now if you type in notes once you get past the 200 words mark you have the option to do all manner of interesting AI powered features. So open your note and hit the little stars icon at the bottom. Highlight all the text that you want to apply the changes to. Then if you tap auto format it'll give you headers and bullets or you can format it as meeting notes. Summarize gives a short bulleted presentation of what to expect in the note and correct spelling does what it says it does, offering suggestions for fixing typos. Double click to recognize music. Now Samsung's side key can be programmed to perform many different functions, and one of those is launching any app by double pressing it. If you download and install Shazam, the music recognition app, and then go into its settings, and toggle on the Shazam on startup option, it'll recognize music whenever it's opened, without having to press that big S icon. Now go into your phone settings, find advanced features and then side button and ensure that double press is toggled on, and then tap open app. Choose Shazam from the list, now when you double press the side button, it'll launch the app and because you've enabled Shazam on startup, it'll start recognizing the song straight away. Bring back the power button. Now by default, pressing and holding the side button launches Bixby, the Samsung Assistant. To replace it with the power menu for shutting down the phone instead, go to Settings, Advanced Features and Side Button. Under Press and Hold, choose Power Off Menu. Circle to Search. This is a new feature coming to a lot of Android phones. If you tap and hold near the bottom of the display and then circle the item on the screen that you want to search for, it'll then use Google's image recognition tool to find options for that thing that it's recognized, whether it's buying things online or just recognizing what the object is. Tap your clock for widget shortcuts. Now, if you tap the clock on your Samsung lock screen, it brings up a bunch of card widgets for useful features like music, weather, routines, and voice recorder, among other things. Head to settings, lock screen, and AOD, and then find widgets. On the next screen, you can toggle on the widgets you want in that list, and if you tap reorder at the top of the screen, you can then move them around until they're in the order that you want. Get your camera light to flash for notifications. Now this is a bit of a mainstay feature now, but you can get your screen or your camera LED light to flash when new notifications come in. Just head to Settings, Accessibility, then Advanced Settings, and you'll see a flash notification option. Tap it, and on the next screen, there's a toggle for camera flash notification and screen flash. The former will flash your LED, the latter will light up your screen whenever you get a new alert. Find missed notifications. Now if you head to Settings, Notifications, and then go to Advanced Settings, you'll find a Notification History option. Tap that, and you'll see a list of all the notifications your phone has received grouped by app. So if you think you've missed one, you'll find it here. Make your battery last longer. There's a new charging optimization tool that can manage how your phone charges to extend the long-term life of your battery. If you head to Settings, Battery, and then choose Battery Protection, there are three options. Toggle Protection On at the top of the screen, and then choose which charging optimization you want. To make your battery last as long as it possibly can, you can choose to only have it charged to 80% every time. Swipe to Screenshot. On Samsung phones, if you swipe the edge of your palm across the screen, it takes a screenshot. It's pretty handy to know if you don't want to fiddle about with the button combination. If it's not enabled by default, which it should be, go to Settings, Advanced Features, and then Motions and Gestures, and toggle the option on that says Palm Swipe to Capture. Swipe for Split Screen. 
Now if you go to settings, advanced features and then multi window, you'll see an option that says swipe for split screen. If you toggle it on when you swipe up with two fingers, it launches into the split screen view where you have one app on the top half of the screen and one app on the bottom half. Pop up view. Again in the same list is a pop up view gesture toggle. With this enabled when you swipe down from the corner of any full screen app, you launch it into a pop-up floating window. Once in that view, you can drag it around the screen using the tab at the top, or if you tap and hold the tab, you can drag it to fill one half of the screen, launching split screen mode. If you just tap the top bar once, you'll get a pop-up control, giving you options to fill the screen, change the transparency, or minimize the app, or even close it. Get rid of the Samsung Wallet or Samsung Pay swipe-up gesture. Now, if you've ever been annoyed that your swipe up gesture on your Samsung phone launches Samsung Pay rather than take you to the recent apps or go home, you're not alone. Thankfully, you can disable it quite easily. Open Samsung Wallet and assuming you've logged in and set up, go to the app settings by tapping menu at the bottom and then the settings cog in the top corner. Tap quick access and then swipe up gesture. Here you can toggle it off on the home screen, lock screen, or when the screen is off. Use the S Pen to launch your camera and take a photo. Now with the S24 Ultra, the S Pen launches a number of different dedicated features. Press and hold the button on the pen and it'll open the camera. And now with the camera app loaded, you can snap a photo remotely just by pressing that button once. Or you can switch between the front and back cameras by clicking it twice. It even has its own gesture controls. So holding the button and performing a clockwise circle gesture zooms in and the opposite zooms out or swipe left or right to cycle through the camera modes. So you can set your phone up on a tripod and control it without having to touch the screen. Use volume buttons to zoom in on the camera. The default setting for the volume buttons when in the camera app is to capture a photo or record a video, but you can change it to zoom. Open the camera, find the settings cog in the corner, then on the settings screen, find shooting methods. Tap press volume buttons two at the top and then choose zoom in or out. Generative fill in gallery. Now there are quite a few new AI tools built into the gallery app. One of them lets you move subjects and objects or delete them from the scene and generating images to fill in that blank space. Open the photo that you want to edit. Tap the pencil to enter the edit screen and then tap the blue icon with the white stars. Now tap and hold the subject or draw around it to select it. To move and resize, just drag it around or drag the dots in the corners or to delete, tap the eraser and when you're finished, hit generate. Drag and drop photo subjects. Also in the gallery app, if you open a photo with a clear subject in the foreground, you can just tap and hold that subject until it separates from the photo. You can then copy or paste it into a document, share it or save it as a sticker to your Samsung keyboard. Rotate your home screen to landscape. Now on the bigger screen, you might want your home screen to rotate to landscape, but it doesn't by default. Tap and hold your wallpaper, choose settings on the next screen and then toggle on the rotate to landscape mode option. Get a web page summary. Open Samsung internet and find an article that you want to summarize. Now just tap the AI start icon in the bottom toolbar and then choose summarize. It'll then digest the page content and give a handy bullet point summary detailing the key points of that article. AI message tone checker. Now the Samsung keyboard has a new AI feature for checking and changing the tone of any text message. Simply type what you want to type and then tap the AI button on the toolbar that looks like little stars. Choose writing style from the list and it'll generate other tone options. This ranges from professional and casual through to emojified and social media ready. So there you go, a handy list of features that you can try on your Galaxy S24, S24 Plus or S24 Ultra or even some of your older Galaxy S phones. Let me know the ones that you found the most useful. Get hold of me on threads, I'm at Cam Bunton or use the comment comments down below. If I've missed anything that you find really handy, also let me know. I'm interested to hear what you've learned from your new phone. If you did like this video, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe and tap that notification bell and then you won't miss any more. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.